Good morning, Grace Commons. It may seem like it's been a long time since you've had an update on the Boulder Vision Project. And while the pandemic has um, impacted our progress, I want to assure you that uh, we have been full steam ahead with the city and moving forward with the campaign and, and many other things. So Doug and I are excited to give you a quick update this morning on all things Boulder Vision Project. And Doug, we'll start with you and the planning and design process. Can you just give a quick update on what's been going on there? Sure. Yes, lots of progress uh, since we had our last update this summer. Uh, for the preschool, great work. Designs are on their way. Construction starting next year. Plan to hand over the preschool for operations next August. So a new preschool in operation. For the main campus, a couple of big issues. One, Landmarks Preservation Board and their understanding of our church and what it was and how it was built over time. And uh, so floodplain and landmarks are big issues for the main campus, but really come together nicely. And the third piece at the annex, uh, it's really coming together brilliantly. We've got uh, Mercy Ministries on the ground floor in the basement, affordable housing and event space. And we're working with our neighbors to try to make sure we're good neighbors and what we build there and make it all work within our community. But uh, uh, planning board a couple of weeks ago, city council can bring it up tonight, but we're on our way and should be making progress next year. Fantastic. Doug, let me ask one question that might be on the minds of some of our, um, some of our members. Uh, what are the next big milestones in the next three to six months and has the overall timeline shifted at all? Sure. So Landmarks Board is a big deal. We have to have a, a demolition permit to raise the Geneva Wing. Uh, we also need some other approvals, but uh, they're kind of standard in routine. I think schedule has been pushed out a little bit just because the timing of these meetings has just taken longer with, with Zoom, everything being on Zoom and meetings. So it's stringing out a bit, but uh, I think we just hold the schedule loosely and, and we're definitely making progress. That's awesome. Well, let me say a few words about the capital campaign and where we're at and what we're trying to do in the next couple of months. So first of all, um, amidst the uh, lockdowns and, and the beginning of COVID, we were supposed to be having a commitment Sunday. The which, Ides of March. Which we did not have. Uh, and I am really excited to say that despite not having that and certainly um, certain pledges not um, having come in because of it, we have met our goal of $8 million in pledges. With that being said, you will remember as well that during the campaign, we talked about exceeding that and getting to nine or 10 million. And that for every million dollars extra that we have in giving, it means $5,000 a month of savings in debt service, which in turn means we can, we can retire our debt and be debt free sooner. So over the next two months, we're asking all of you um, whether you intend to do a pledged or um, you're still prayerfully considering it, to, to go through that process and seek the Lord's discernment to be a part of this. Right. Because our goal has always been 100% participation, regardless of dollar amount. Because we really, really want everybody to be a part of this vision, which again is not a vision about a building. It's a vision about reaching our community with God's love and giving this as a gift to the city. So I would encourage you to please prayerfully consider whether um, you are still being led by the Lord to pledge. If you could do that by the end of this year, that would be amazing because we are going to close out the campaign in early January. We'll announce the final number. And then, unfortunately, we can't have a big celebration. <laughs> Uh, we're hopeful that late in the spring or early in the summer, we will be able to, and regardless of how long it's deferred, we will celebrate together. Um, I would just encourage you to uh, go to the website or email the leadership team. If you have any questions at all, uh, we're absolutely willing to help, uh, and we will be providing more detailed updates and information in the weekly newsletter that is gonna come this week and will come in future weeks. Thank you and have a blessed day.